When free agency began, the Warriors immediately lost several of their veteran free agents. Gary Payne II, one of their best defenders, signed with the Trailblazers on a three-year $28 million deal. And the Dubs also lost JTA to the Lakers, Otto Porter Jr. to the Rockets, and Bayelisa to a team in Turkey. The Warriors lost a lot of their key role players, but on the positive side, they did manage to bring back Kevon Looney on a three-year $25 million deal. Re-signing Looney is a big win for the Warriors organization. Looney doesn't regularly put up eye-popping numbers, but anyone on the Warriors will tell you he's a big part of their team's success. The defense and rebounding he brings to the team is invaluable. Along with re-signing Looney, the Warriors picked up Dante DiVincenzo on a two-year $9 million deal. This is a good pickup that helps salvage what the Warriors lost in free agency. Just a year ago, DiVincenzo was a valuable starter on a Milwaukee's Bucks team as a pretty good 3 and D player, but unfortunately, he suffered an ankle injury in last year's playoffs and never quite looked like himself again after returning from injury. As a result, the Bucks traded DiVincenzo to the Kings and he averaged 10 points and 4 assists per game in 25 games in Sacramento. With the second year of his contract being a player option, this is a chance for DiVincenzo to revive his career and earn a bigger payday next offseason. For Golden State, DiVincenzo is a solid 3 and D player that can help make up for the veterans that they lost. The veterans that the Warriors did lose hurts though, especially Gary Payton II. Gary is a great defender that's also a solid 3 point shooter and an amazing dunker. Payton was incredible for the Warriors off the bench. And the Warriors also lost some excellent outside shooting with Otto Porter Jr. and Bayelitsa departing. With these players leaving, the Warriors are going to need their young players to blossom next season. Moses Moody and John De Kamiga in particular will need to make up for the loss of Gary Payne II and Otto Porter Jr. Moody has potential to be a great 3 and D player. At 6'6 with a long 7'1 wingspan, he's got the size to be a good versatile defender and he's also known as a good shooter. Moody didn't get much playing time his rookie year and spent a lot of time in the G League, but as the year went on, Moody did start to get some serious minutes in the Warriors rotation and even scored 30 points against the Nuggets, becoming the youngest Warrior to ever score 30 points at 19 years old. The Warriors are going to need Moody to make a leap next year. The Warriors are also going to need more out of John than Kaminga. Like Moody, Kaminga didn't play a ton his rookie year, but he became a regular rotation player as the season wore on. Kaminga is a physical specimen. He's 6'8 with a 6'11 wingspan, with the speed to regularly get by his man, and the bounce to finish strong at the rim. And Kaminga got much better as a shooter last year, hitting 35% of his threes from January to the end of the season. With the Warriors' wing depth depleted, next season is Kaminga's opportunity to play a much larger role. I still expect Kaminga to come off the bench, but he has a chance to play 20 to 25 minutes a game. We also can't forget about James Wiseman. Wiseman didn't play last season, but when he last played, he was the dub starting center and showed immense potential on both ends of the floor. Wiseman is a great lob catching center that can also hit from the outside, but he needs to get a lot better defensively. Looney was the starting center last year, but Wiseman will still have a legit chance to earn the starting center position back and be a huge impact player. The Warriors front office is banking on these three young guys making a leap, and because they're still on their rookie contracts, this means they'll have them for cheap for at least the next couple of seasons. The Warriors lost a lot of key contributors from last year, but if their young players blossom, they likely won't miss a beat. They still have an incredible starting lineup and between players like Jordan Poole, Moody, DiVincenzo, and Kaminga, they still potentially have a very formidable second unit. The West will likely be tougher next year with teams like the Clippers and Nuggets soon to get healthy and other teams like Portland and the Timberwolves improving in free agency. But as it stands, the Warriors still look like the favorite in the West. The Warriors second and third year players need to get better, but Patrick Baldwin Jr. also has a chance to have an impact on the Warriors. Click this video to see why Patrick Baldwin Jr. is potentially the steal of the draft.